how's the uh, how's the hand? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot to ask. Oh you. man, I know it's a little. Oh, it's your pinky. <laughs> What's that? It's your pinky. How can we do that thing like, all no, up to your shoulder I, for crying out loud? I can't. And then Are you I allowed to have that thing sticking out like that? I can't touch but the you last. Have to wear, put underwear on it or something? Yeah, I just took a shower. I had to put a garbage bag around it, duct tape around the garbage. Holy bag. crap. Yeah, I haven't been able to. Thank God it's my left hand. <laughs> I thought he'd have a little band aid on it or something. <laughs> I know. I expected a bandage. He said, You'll have a bandage. It's like a complete splint. It's all hard. And then it's wrapped like with cotton and then wrapped with an ace bandage. It's just starting to loosen a little. I go Friday, but it might be too soon. I might not get it up till like Monday. I don't know. I started just driving, but it, it kind of, you know, I can't really just hold the wheel with this. <laughs> the, the, uh, to go through it, they made me numb from here all the way to the fingertips, like like a dentist. They That's made weird. Me numb. It started getting numb. I was awake. Then I, you know, I was like, this was like heavy duty because I I woke up and I had something down my throat, you know? <laughs> and they, they took it out. And I'm like, I never felt that before. And then they're wheeling around. Then they took uh they took something out of my nose and it felt like it was a yard long. You know, and then they're wiping my face. I'm like, what are you wiping? And they said, snot. Mm. I don't know what I, I was like out of it. But the, but my arm was numb for the, this is early in the morning. This is still like 7.30, 8 a.m. I'm done. You know? <laughs> and the rest of the day, my arm was numb. It, it, from my elbow on was completely numb. And then later on toward midnight, I started to get tingling in my fingers. So I, I had a sling. I had this stupid sling because I can't couldn't control my arm. <laughs> I pictured that uh, Ace Ventura thing when he got, he got shot by the blowgun. Remember that? He got shot yeah, in the arm yeah. and his hand is just dangling. Oh, it, well, it was like that because uh, I took I would have to take the sling off. I'm like, well, I have to adjust the sling. And there's no way I couldn't pick my arm back up to put it in the sling. You have to use your other hand and move my arm around. So I went to bed with the sling. I said, this is stupid. Then I laid there. But I kept waking up and my arm would be in some weird position. I could have like, I could like given Deborah a concussion with this thing. Mm. I mean, it's, it's hard. <laughs> so, Jeez. So I don't know. Let's see if it, my, I can tell my fingers are, you know, aligned and they, I, they haven't been in years. You know, they're all in a row. I can feel them. But. <laughs> Because the little finger That's was good. bent. Everything else was. <laughs> so, anyway, that's how my hand is. <laughs> I can't drink. I haven't drank in so long. Oh, no. <laughs> like a week. Wow. What are you guys drinking? Let me live through. Well, I haven't even I haven't opened it yet, but <laughs> I have my uh, Cerveza. Con Limon. Mm. I've uh, got the Oktoberfest. Oh. It's a good one. In Better fact, than my... I'll open I it up right have, now. I still have five bottles of that. Weird pumpkin ale beer, basically. Yuck. Brian <laughs> likes that crap. It didn't say pumpkin, but yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll save it for him. He had real pumpkin by the time I ever see him again. But he's the one that told me encouraged me to have this done now i have rigorous pt ahead of me that's why it's better for business <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> well maybe we should start this puppy <laughs> <laughs> it is the year's 2020 it's the 28th of october halloween week and you're wasting land on the north coast with amigo Shmo. mike and mickey and hud baby if he uh if he's free, he says. I don't know. It's Halloween week. Yeah. If I'm, you know free. how busy it is. <laughs> Got to work on that costume. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you Being know how that, involved Hud, his costumes are. I know I've talked about this before, but Hud was Hud was like a lion, like ten years in a row. <laughs> it was like warm. 
<laughs> and it, and it was by the time I mean it was ripping. It was he didn't have it all the way on. It was like a bodysuit thing with a zipper. The zipper wasn't done at all. He just had it over some clothes and I'm a lion, you know, just like a hobo every year. He was he was this lion. He, it was elaborate at first, and then it was like he had part of the costume on later on. Just to, <laughs> just to qualify for tricks or treats. So uh. Well, I have to confess that I uh, totally lost track of Songs You Don't Know by Heart, and I don't even remember what what was the last one we talked about. You know what? I just watched them all the last <laughs> few days. Yeah, I did. I caught I up to last them. weekend, I think. So, but where did we leave off? I, 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 well, we had, it was, last time we talked, that was the night I painted the sky. And then there yeah. maybe was one more after that, I but I hadn't think, watched them all. I think it was Tin Cup Chalice is the last one I remember talking about. Okay. The next one after was Chanson Pour les Petits Enfants, and I don't think that we talked about it. No, did we didn't we? talk about that one. I'm pretty sure Tin Cup was the like Tin Which Cup. Which means there's a there are a ton of songs that came out. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like they were even faster. Got, didn't they come out two, faster? Four, six. Yeah, they must have. We got seven, seven songs to talk about. Yeah, it was I more watched. than one a week. It had to be. Yeah, it had to be more than one a week. It I had. guess that's why I lost track of it, because there's at least one that I have not watched, so I have to recuse myself from talking about it. Well, I, 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 I did watch them all, and I watched like the last five today, getting ready for today. I thought, yeah. yeah. And some of them, I think I, I saw Jimmy's story part, but I didn't listen to the actual um, performance. So... It, there was but some, I guess that still counts. Did we ever talk about Wino and I know? Uh, yeah, we must have. Oh, I had not seen that. That was a, that was a terrific one because he, I know we talked about he played it like he played it like he might have at the time he wrote it. I mean, he yeah, because it was in the, there was oh yeah that was the one of uh, New Orleans, right? Yeah, so, he yeah. talks about uh, the streetcar named Desiree. I think yeah. that was that one. And I went off on my story about the streetcar named Desiree. Yeah, right. So then when I watch it, I'm like, I, I, I heard this. Before. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Yeah. Mickey stole that story. <laughs> yeah. That didn't Jimmy happen to him at story. all. Jimmy stole that story from a podcast. Um, that was such that was such a good one because I just, I mean, because well, first of all, I'm looking at my painting of the of the Cafe Dumont right there. And uh, and I'm you know the whole New Orleans trip that I've done three now, and it's just excellent. And he talked more and more about it. He also talked about New Orleans on that podcast, and I can't say the guy's name, Bobby Ludwitz Ludvest or something. But sure, yeah, <laughs> easy for me to say. What's his name? Where dope and yes, left sets, go. I think isn't it left sets? That that podcast was great with Mac. Yeah, that podcast was great. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, uh, since we last podcasted, I listened to that. Um, and there was a lot of talk about New Orleans there, similar to what he said in that one. It's almost like he recorded that around the same time he talked to Delaney. So the, the uh, anyway, that was, that was really, I liked all the talk about New Orleans there. And and also I had I had not all night I painted the sky I had not watched that all of that, so he got like emotional at the end of playing that song and talking about groovy. I think we yeah we talked about it right. You yeah. might have and I hadn't seen it. Yeah. yeah, well, Mike and I mentioned that we had heard him perform that song. We had yeah. seen him perform it. Yeah, and he got a like. little little crying. Oh yeah, a little crying at the end and the. That, and Delaney's like, oh, dad, it. you know, and she broke the director's, uh, she, she just go with it. She had gold, she yeah. had little gold and she's like, oh, dad. <laughs> I tuned it out. The emotional stuff doesn't even, re I didn't recognize it apparently because so. Oh, he was like crying. He goes, I, I didn't notice. I he goes, really that, didn't that, it brought some feelings. And then, and then you just heard the audio and they showed that groovy guy and he had died in like 2003. So. At like in his fifties, so I think his name was Groovy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> his name was Groovy. Well, he's in uh, Coastal Confessions, isn't he? Yep. 
Isn't that the song? <laughs> so the chicken died in vain? Yeah. Something like that. I mean the song title. So that was uh, that was cool. Uh, so that brings us up to Chanson pour les petits enfants. And I, it's been such a long time. I don't remember the story. I, I mean, I know the story. I can guess the story because he's told it before. But I don't remember watching him tell it. Yeah, I mean, he basically, he didn't, I don't think there was much new info. I know yeah, he was... would not even try to pronounce the song <laughs> title. Well, he was, was like, welcome to, he was welcome to the St. Bart's dock or harbor or bay or whatever with kids with a bag of beignets. Yeah. And one of the kids was named Mason. And then, you know, it shows up in the song. I think, I don't or think. Magnus. He, yeah. Magnus. Magnus, yeah. sorry. What did I say? Mason? Yeah, yeah. it's a different song. That's a totally oh. different song from a different album. Magnus, that's right, Magnus. Yeah. Close, and, uh, not bad. Got three it is where he's talking to. He's Four talking letters. to Lainey, and she's at St. Bart's all the time, probably, you know, all through her life where he stays. So she knows what he's referring to. So, And sometimes that's, I don't know what he's referring to. But he was talking about how they anchored at night somewhere, and they, he's, like, he's like, you know, you, you never should anchor there. But they did. It was calm or something. And yeah, it's unusually it's calm. Real. Usually, I guess it's dangerous to anchor there. Nobody does. Yeah. Hmm. And there, it was cool. To feel, there was a, there was a lot more pictures lately of old pictures when, as they talked about these stuff. So I don't know. It was just cool to talk about St. Bart's, which is really, you know, a, a home of his. So you know, it was uh, it was neat. But there wasn't much new info on that one. Next yeah, I was just looking to see if they had uh, that available for oh. pre-order on on, um, on yeah. Apple Music yet, and they don't. I'm not seeing it here on Apple Music. Somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody on the Facebook page, the Buffanese Facebook page, says that you can listen to samples of it on iTunes, and I have yet to find out where this person found those samples. Yeah, and, I'm not seeing any any reference to it. And on... people were kind of upset because it's not just Jimmy performing. It's got additional instrumentation. It's all acoustic, so it's not like a full band version, but it does have uh, piano and um, a bass, probably a string bass, and also uh, some percussion. So people were kind of upset that they just they wanted just Jimmy. Yeah. But it's like if if that's what they wanted to do, then you know, well, that's we have fine. just Jimmy on the videos. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but he mentions, and I, I don't know, maybe at, at the end, he when he wrapped everything up, he mentions that it's when it's going to be available, and like Mac had some involvement, oh, yeah, and he mentioned some other people. It. Mac there's produced something it. I haven't watched, and I think there's a wrap-up one. That yeah, I yeah, yeah. I haven't seen that then. Yeah, in fact, he had the um, shellback guitar. He was he just hit a chord or something. He was no, he had I, that guitar in his hands when he played i am Same remembering i did watch that video but i just don't remember anything in it hey, i i had a scoop for like a day or somebody had a scoop on the facebook page the buffanese facebook page somebody had found out through industry uh schedules release schedules that the album was coming out uh, November 20th and it was going to be called songs you don't know by heart just like you ex just like you'd expect and then they made the announcement the next day so I'm, as I'm reading this guy's article I'm going oh cool I got something to mention on the show and then the very next day it gets officially announced yeah. so it lasted for less than 24 hours yeah. yeah how appropriate but did you notice that the 15 songs on the video release on the 15 songs on the album are not the same Dun, dun, dun. Yes. Well, I thought there were more on the album. Nope. No, it's just a different order. It's same 15 tracks. They are in a different order. If you go by the list on the web page, they're in a different order that way. I don't know what the track list is. So, but if you go by just that listing, but there's one song that he did for the video that he is not doing on the album. And so that means it's being replaced by a different song. Well, they have the track listing on um, Mailboat Records. Yep. Right. Is that the one you were looking at? Yeah. Okay. And uh, the the uh, sharper-eyed people than I have noticed that the Wino and I Know is not on the album. It is replaced. Oh, that sucks. By, it is replaced by Tonight I Just Need My Guitar. Yeah. See, that was one, and what other one? Yeah, the Death of an Unpopular Poet. Did I? Did we see that? 
Yeah, that was the very first. No, that wasn't the first one. No, that was in there. That was one of the early ones. It was the fourth one, I believe. Okay, that's why I don't remember it. First one was Captain and the Kid. They are yeah, this a different is definitely order. out of order. It's a different order. Yep. I I'm just assuming that the order on the web page is the is the track list, but it you know not necessarily it doesn't have right. to be. It's not numbered, and yeah, it doesn't have to be. So. Mm -hmm. But it does really annoy me that people have heard samples of it. And they say that you can listen to them, and I've yet to find any. Is it in Spotify, maybe? I haven't checked. Well, it's supposed to have been. The one announcement that came through, and I don't see that same thing anymore, said that it was available for pre-ad on Apple Music. And usually you can listen to a clip, you know, a snippet of it, and one or more songs on that. And it is just not there. When you clicked it, it took you to that Saltwater Gospel link. Yeah, that's the that's what they say is the latest release. Yeah. On the iTunes Store is the Saltwater Gospel, and I've tried I've tried to check both Apple Music and the iTunes Store, and I haven't seen. Uh... I'm trying, I was testing something. Go ahead. Oh, right. I'm letting you in. There's going to be a Joseph's there's be a second iPad. Angle. There's Two a second schmoes. angle of you. Oh, I turned. I said no audio on the iPad. Yeah, but so, we've got two angles of you. Yeah, right, right. Both. It says it's connecting to audio, but I told it not to. They're oh. both saying the same things. This is so dramatic. Well, is 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 the iPad better? Actually, I think it it's is. it's clearer, but it's darker. It is better. It is better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for next time. Oh, see, well, see, hey, is that the, yeah? Is that your, the your painting? painting? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Cool. <laughs> and there's the Michigan band coming in. I never there's tried that. signing in with two cameras. I've been able to switch between two cameras, but I never well, thought about signing with in. All the Zoom family stuff, and then some people are using devices, and you got to learn to mute and everything because the sound goes crazy. This would be cool. We should all do that. We should have multiple angles. <laughs> it look well, like then, there's so many of us. You can edit it all together into a movie. I wish, since Zoom is so popular, I wish there was a way you could edit this stuff and like move the boxes around, select the box to make it bigger instead of having to switch all this stuff to, um, what is it, pin a camera or something, but just click on it and it makes it bigger. Like I should be able to direct this live. That's what I think it should be. And I bet there are, there are um, video chat things with the software that'll do that, but I just don't know how to do it with Zoom. And that's what I'm stuck with. I since had I've, I'm pot committed to Zoom, since I've given them money. Mostly, <laughs> he's got I can multiple it active it's angles. Too annoying. You know, I, <laughs> now I got like four squares here, but everybody's at a different spot next to me. If, if HUD calls, I'll get out of them. I think the lighting's pretty cool on the iPad. It looks like you're in an in an aquarium. This will be fun. Yeah, <laughs> the because the reflections on the ceiling. Yeah, it's like the surface <laughs> no, of the yeah, water. It's like water. He's underwater. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anyway, what was I going to say? Well, anyway, you saw the Kathy Dumont. Oh, okay. I'm going to go back to Chanson pour les petits enfants. Uh, there was something different on that thing. There was something new. He this was like before VHS or right when VHS beta was coming out, and they said they had on the boat they had. I didn't. I don't remember these stories before. He had the the big tapes. Yeah, he the had, three quarter tape. Yeah, it was probably you know yeah the, the the big tapes where you if you put them in the machine they had a little monitor and you could watch movies for some reason on that boat. And uh, and then the kids would watch the kids watch Wizard of Oz, was one of them. What I thought was Jimmy didn't talk about it much, but you know he did write a song that was like this Wizard of Oz type story. You know, I mean that kind of a fairy tale kind of thing. And uh, basically, he said they they could it was amazing to them. And then there was that Magnus that said he goes I've been to Oz, <laughs> and Buffett said no, you have. And he goes where is it? And he goes like in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Anyway, that was my. I like the fact that that would be something we would do. Hey, we're going on this boat here. I got these movies I'll take. We'll watch them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
like Mickey with his laser discs back in the day. <laughs> I think there was only like what four movies or something, three or four movies. He didn't have yeah. a huge selection. Yeah, well, he he said something about six or seven, but he only listed like three or four. Uh, you know, he had a Bogart Bacall movie, but it wasn't Key Largo. It was another one. I forget. The one after that was Cowboy in the Jungle, and I don't think I saw that one because I remember pretty much nothing about it. I, yeah, I think that he was talking about shrimp skin boots. Did you, you yeah. remember that? Oh, I take it back. Then I did see yeah. it because I thought we yeah. talked about that. He said, no, he said there's a picture know. out there with him, Utley, and somebody else, Mardi Gras, and he's wearing the shrimp skin boots or whatever. And they did find it. I did see it. Yeah, but it's not a very good photo. Oh, I did see that. I think it was on Instagram. I think I saw it on Instagram. I don't know if it got shared shared to the other. I assume it got shared to the other places. I do recall seeing it, and I'm not on Instagram, so it must have been on Facebook. And um, that was that was cool that the song made the list because it was one of Greg's favorites. Yeah, oh, I yeah. loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it was that yeah. was my, it, one of my favorite great. ones. De- Delaney was having a tough time understanding that it's called Cowboy in the Jungle, but really. It's more than one story. You know what I mean? You can hook them together and be about the same guy if you want. That's not the point. The point is each verse is a different, like, uh, I want to say a little, a, a different little story put together in one song. And he kind of named the she song. She did kind of struggle with that, didn't she? Yeah, you she he named the song after the first story. But he says, oh, they put them together. They're not really put together. But the whole point is, I mean, he, he, the first of the three stories he, he just named the song that. And he ended the last line. I always loved the way that song ended. But she struggled with that whole concept of three acts. Yeah, it's a country song. But, you know, I just thought that was funny. And yeah. I always liked the, the line, um, 24 hours, maybe 60 good years. It's not that long a stay. And over the years, that has changed. He's, he said <laughs> different things. And now he's up to 90. <laughs> yeah. So we're we started at sixty and now it's up to ninety. Yeah, he uh, he always has the year wrong when he made the song, and of course he's probably thinking more when he wrote it too. I understand it's a little early, but he's got he's got albums. You know, he's talking about white sport coat and he's talking about you know, oh no, he's talking about Havana Daydreaming like nineteen seventy two and no, that's seventy four or whatever. Or he's thinking A one A was seventy. That's not true. You know? Yeah, <laughs> and it was really 78, 79. Or, or... No, like seventy four. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, and then volcano and even uh, Little Miss Magic. That he talks about Little Miss Magic. That he figures she was like five or six. Well, she was born in seventy nine. He recorded it in <laughs> eight. <I> mean, <laughs> and then he, he, but I thought it was hilarious because Jimmy doesn't know when kids start walking. Did you notice that? Yeah, I did. Are you walking around at three? He says he doesn't know. (laughs) I never thought about that. We we got you got a four year old just a lump laid on the ground, (laughs) walking around. (laughs) They got teeth, but no, they can't walk. (laughs) They don't pick it up until just before they go to school. (laughs) (laughs) It just cracked me up. Uh, just it was just funny. He has no, he doesn't remember. You know, he he he's he's doing shows and stuff, but you know, it's like obviously she was she was in a crib, you know, obviously looking at the ceiling fans or something. And that's what I thought. You know. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, okay. <laughs> so uh, and apparently they call Savannah sissy. Yeah. Those uh, those two schmoes are cracking me up. I don't know which one to watch. <laughs> Wait, do you want me to want me to pick one off? No, I want you to hook up more cameras. Yeah, the one on the left is funnier than the one on the right. The one down <laughs> between my legs, straight up. Put if you got to get a <laughs> reverse <laughs> angle shot. Put one behind your heads for a reverse angle shot. You go on the porch. Take everything on the porch and get the ring doorbell into the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> get, his, oh. get his doggy cam. Yeah, I do have one of those. I'm sure you do. We have a fur boat. Yeah. It feeds them. <laughs> Next song is Love in the Library, which I 
swear we did not talk about. So if I messed up with the last two or three, this one definitely is new to us, I would say. I would hazard that guess. Yes, I think it is. Yeah, I don't recall talking about it, but uh, yeah, this, I, I don't know. The, the song's never been one of my favorites. I think, ah. Mickey, you did. Mick's yeah, always yeah, like this has been a standout yeah. for him. Yes. It never has been for me, but. Mickey has, I never really paid attention to it before. It's one of these that have come lately to me that I like. Quiet and cool. Yeah. So. Uh, yes, I was, I was pleased to see this show up. Although, you know, I can understand why Jimmy's never performed it live because, you know, it's going to put the audience to sleep, but I really like it. And I thought this is the perfect venue for it. Oh, yeah, it definitely fits. It's just never been yeah, one I don't of know if I've ever heard this live myself, right? So hey, he has done it live, and I was surprised to hear that because it really does not sound like the or seem like the song that you want to perform live, except maybe the last song of the concert. Right. I I will step back a little bit to a little this magic. It was funny that Delaney pointed out he's done that song like 13 times. And he's in Margaritaville 1,400 times. <laughs> and she says, I'll, be, I'll make sure to mention that to Sissy when I see her. Mm. <laughs> I did like that. I love the library was less than Miss Maggie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I know he didn't say it here, but what Jimmy said before is, uh, if you don't write a song about your daughter, you will go to hell. Mm -hmm. If you're a songwriter. <laughs> So next one up is Little Miss Magic, which we've just touched on. Do we have anything else to add? I don't think so. Like it. <laughs> no, Joe, Joe covered it yeah, pretty I'm well. Sorry, I, I jumped around. He I, did. I he was, he really it. liked it. I, I'm glad that they did this song too, because it's uh, it is one of my one of the songs I really like. But I mean, obviously, it's not going to be on a greatest hits album, but still, it's a really good song. I've always liked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, next up, I Have Found Me a Home, which is another really great song that I'm glad yep. to see was included. Yep. Yep. I like that one a lot. And isn't this the one where he mentioned the, the cat guy? Oh, yeah. I, yes. This is the one I haven't heard. This yes. video was the one I haven't yes. seen. But I, he said it was a different cat guy. He said it was the guy that did Cirque du Soleil or something. But I, I don't think so. I think he might have got this one wrong. Well, I think, it might be, no, it might be the same guy. I think this guy, because he mentioned the guy's oh, I mean, name. That guy might be a circular guy. No, no, I looked it up. I looked it up. Oh, okay. There is a, a Guy, somebody, blah, 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 who was in, who founded Cirque du Soleil, Cirque du Soleil. And it's not the same guy, because this guy is Dominique or Dominique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds familiar. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to go get the picture. But he, either he said it and I, somehow I recall, like I was there in the early 90s and he, and he or somebody else there at the time said he's been doing it for like 20 years. So I think he was there. Yeah. it's just, Who else has little kitty cats? Like doing acrobatic kids. stuff. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. It had to be that guy. You and Jimmy saw the same guy. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to stick with that. And I'm going to stick with I saw the same guy too. 20 except, years later. Except I was like, why? Did Mike really like this? I really and, loved it, and it's it's an it's a big moment in ever in my our lives, because that was the one moment where you completely laughed our asses off, and you know we were completely honest, and we couldn't stop laughing. I mean, couldn't catch my breath, and I you know I'd only known her a month, <laughs> you know, but it was just uh, it, it was, and I, we talk about this all the time, and we just. We were laughing so hard, completely losing it, you know, in front of someone, you know, and not what? caring what you looked at. Oh, you laughing? Well, either yeah. either I built it up too much, or he lost a step or two <laughs> well, you oh. got, over the years. <laughs> well, yeah, first of all, he lost a step or two. It was kind of cool. I am not, you know, I could see why Mike, but then you got Deborah, who doesn't know Mike yet. Who? <laughs> yeah. Mike Hud or Mike Hud? Yeah, Mike Hud. Mike Ackley. And then. You know, and I'm like, Mike really like this guy because I insisted we find this mm -hmm. guy. <laughs> that was I so novel. I'd never seen anything like it. These, these cats were trained. They did amazing things. I, mean, I was we, so impressed. We had a great evening, you know, for the sunset. He talks about it. It was funny that Delaney didn't know what he was talking about. Like, what do you mean sunset? Or, you know, 
Yeah, you think she was playing dumb? You think she was playing dumb just to get people talking, to get them talking, or do you think she really didn't know? She has she to really know. She know. lived. Had to live because there. She, she had know. opportunities to play dumb before and didn't. You know, so. Yeah, but yeah, I know about the sunset, and I've never even been there. I've never yeah, been to Florida, Florida at all. Well, he seemed to really know. People went down and street performers at sunset. What's the name of the goddamn Mallory Square? Mallory Square. Yeah, that's he and he he said it in a, a more artistic way. People go there to to you know s- say he goodbye to the sun or something. Yeah, 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 right. In a poetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah not like it. that. Yeah. <laughs> not like I said it. Yeah, but he kept saying he he called it. He goes because well, we saw the cat guy at, when when we went down for sunset, like you know, and she's like Is that it doesn't sound like she's playing dumb. She's like, what do you mean you went down for? Sunset. He goes, hey, well, everybody goes down, and he he didn't say applauds. He said he said that before, and not many people applauded when I was, I was there, a, but I did. So it I might not have been that great. Now, see, that's another thing. It, well, there was a lot of applause. It was when I was there. It was really cool. It struck <laughs> well, wouldn't me. Wouldn't it depend on the sunset? You're just not gonna applaud just for the sake of applause. Oh, yeah, I don't know, but it was, it was a good sunset. You just give it a tepid golf clap if there aren't enough fact, colors. It's my. Uh, it's, oh, it's, it's my it's oh. my background on my iPad. This well, is see, right that's, that's not guy. a very good this sunset. This is right from the cat guy. Can you see at all? That's He's not a very blue. good sunset. No wonder nobody's very, applauded. very blue. You know, I know the the uh Hey, do you have the photo? Do you have that that oh, uh here's a better file. photo of the sunset? This is the sun coming across the water. Yeah, I gotta find the photo. Or just if you find it, just put it up on the screen or email exactly. it to me afterwards. And exactly. I'll, well, I'm I'll gonna cover it and post here. Well, that's what I should do on my iPad. Well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go get yeah. me another beer. It's easier to to search for photos on the iPad and phone. But I'm I thought go, when I when I okay, go ahead. Go I'm gonna ahead. Go get the picture, Jeez. the actual picture I have on my. I have. I see it every day. The cat guy. <laughs> nice. I am Locutus of Ball. Okay. Are you seeing? What are you seeing? Are you two seeing... schmoes. Two, two dumb schmoes. Oh, you don't see the. <laughs> Wait. Let's see if you're. I'm going to share a picture. Let's. This is weird. Oh, here we go. All right. Oh, it's beautiful. That's that. Let's see. Nice. I guess I can't scroll through my. Uh... So where are you in this photo? I think they had a side little tented area next to it. Yeah, we were in that. there. That's it. If you go there, you'll see that you know the red. I should know what that building is, but the red brick. It's part of maybe Jackson's, not Jackson Square. It's not far from it though, but um, it used to be like barracks at one point for like the Battle of New Orleans or something. That's that red building you can put yourself in this exact position when you go there and they take a picture and i had a guy i have a picture and i I have to find it i thought i have a guy playing like saxophone where these guys are playing saxophone and bass he's right out there on the sidewalk i can't look at that well that's that's the picture to find that's cool now i want to instead of just showing the screen this is the cat guy and i and let's see if it shares it. And this, I had a little, I had a little frame that said "friends." <laughs> this is on my dresser. So <laughs> he's there back, every day. It, nice. He, that's him on the right. Yes. I've never taken the selfie because I still hadn't learned how to take selfies without sticking my tongue out and stuff. Mm. And uh, and I'm and we're laughing hysterically because he's like. Pushing us forward and grabbing our ass, grabbing my ass. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and he, we're almost falling forward. He keeps pushing. It's crazy. And he's laughing and I'm laughing. <laughs> and then uh, there's one more. If I, I don't know how to, I can't find a way to scroll to him. Hmm. And then on the back of the frame, he gave me the sticker. So on the back of the frame, I have this. See, this is the back of the frame where it stands on my dresser. And he gave this cat man. So it doesn't say 
but it says uh, catmankeywest.com. Oh, so oh, should probably go there and see how long he's been there. Yeah. Yeah, so I had done all this, but I hadn't done it. Yeah, Catman what's that guy? Not Cat Guy, Catman. <laughs> <laughs> he made sure he gave me this and stuff. So I have this memento, it's on my dresser. I look at this every day. <laughs> Didn't know it made such a big impression. There it is. Oops, I went oh, away. it went, came and went real fast. Oh, wait, what? It, it popped you? up there for a second. Yeah, it popped up for a second, so I have to freeze frame it. Oh, because I, uh, well, I, I hit stop share on mine about the same time. I was stuck. Oh. Huh. I might have somehow canceled yours. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. freeze frame it. Oh, well. But I still, I, I stand by that, that uh, Jimmy was mistaken, and it was this guy. <laughs> it's the cat man. I, could uh, it be only I'm one cat him. man? I'm I'll with him. It doesn't make sense that there'd be another cat man. Right, right. They trade there's, off. There's and he's a Cirque du Soleil. How do you make the jump from cat man to Cirque du Soleil? <gasps> if ever a person could make that jump, it would be someone from Cirque du Soleil. Well, wait, wait was the jump from cat man to Cirque du Soleil or the other? Well, he said, he said the guy in Key West at, at the, the time was the, happened to be the same guy that, that founded Cirque du Soleil. Yeah, I don't like. And he was doing making the cats do acrobatics. I don't think so. I think he's running a couple things together. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. There are a bunch of cats in a trench coat that that auditioned for Cirque du Soleil. Well, they did found out for many, many years. Yeah, they made like one big band, like the Muppets, in a big trench. Yeah, Yeah. I I don't, I don't doubt that Cirque du Soleil guy was there, but I don't think he was the same guy as the cat guy. And the cool thing was they could fall to their death eight times without a problem. Very good, Mick. Very good. So that was why they they were just amazed with it. It was so much easier to train. This new hire. He shat all over the place, and he was always hissing at people, but he was very agile. He's extremely agile. Well, here we go. Here's the the original picture. (laughs) It's still coming out blurry because there, you know, you can at least get a sense of the crowd that was there. Joe seems to be see. really glad that he's getting his ass grabbed. <laughs> and uh, see, this is one of the pads like that the cat jumped on right here. Okay, yeah. 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 It looks like a part of a drum set or something. But... <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. It took me so long to find <laughs> You guys are so close. <laughs> I know. I know. We were, we were up there. There was another couple doing the same thing like they had heard from their friend named Mike Mark Mockworth. <laughs> <laughs> and he had he had told them that this was awesome. And they were saying, like, this is stupid. It was just so it was just so funny. God. Uh, I think he might have lost a step or two. You're right. And it was still it you're right. It is amazing that these kitty cats are doing these things. They're going through a little ring of fire. Yeah, they're jumping yeah, through fire. Like, they're, they're sitting they're up. They're, they're listening to orders. That. The cat wouldn't go through the fire at first. See, there was no hesitation. Oh, there was there was problems. I think he used another cat. He changed because the cat wouldn't go. <laughs> and the fire was burning out. You know how they, they only go for a while. There was some contractual dispute going on. <laughs> it was. Uh, <laughs> The only thing is that the cats would like lose focus and he'd have to yell at them. No distraction. No distraction. Did he say that at all? He said, he said something. He, he would say, he would say he had like some sayings or sounds that he did. Whoa. You know, like they like you do when they do it, but it was really, it was odd. And I forget. Maybe Deborah, she's, she's on, she's making her calls for Biden and Peters right now. She's oh, the, she's a, she's a yeah, she's, she's one, one of those, those people that I don't you. answer can the I, phone for. Yeah, can I have a couple minutes of your time? No, I keep no, getting texts not. texts about that asking me to do it, and it's like I'm not even answering your phone call. Why would I use? I get texts, but they're they're directed to um, Karen. 
this? Does anybody else get this, or, or am I on somebody's I, list as Karen. Karen? They think they you're must a think Karen? I'm a Karen. So who did you complain about that people think you're a Karen? I, I get texts for Karen, and I got um, lately. I'm getting for Amy now. I don't know. That's different. I've forgotten where we left off. <laughs> I know. We did, uh, yeah, we did Little Miss Magic, right? Did we do I Have Found Me a Home? Is that the one where you... Uh, cat, cat guy. Cat, cat, cat guy. Thing? Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Part, yeah. Woman Going Crazy on Caroline Street. I don't think I saw this one either. I did see that one. I did. But why is nothing Wait, really... Before we move on, it? can we at least say... Uh, no. R.I.P. Jerry Jeff Walker? Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got that. Especially yes. for I Have Found Me a Home, which he mentioned Jerry Jeff many times but he good did. call Spo. good call yes and, uh, that's what got him there see that's why i'm insensitive because i don't remember but that. he obviously he recorded that before uh, and there was jerry jeff talk right i mean he mentioned him in that that uh song many right? times, or, or in that song in the in story that, about the song yeah uh and we and so they they did post where okay jimmy's playing with jerry jeff and they're they're singing a railroad lady and it was on the facebook's page hmm. And then they make some kind of video out of it, but they're playing in front of a crowd. Do you know what show that was? I Texas saw that Connection. Show with my I dad. bet you it's Texas Connection off TNN. Okay, because it's you can see. Because I've got a the, copy of it too. And yeah, is that the one Texas that I recorded? Something. Fingers in the background, is with them. You can see Texas something. You can see a logo. Connection. There you go. Mix right. Okay. All right. And Fingers would have been with them too, because it was the three of them. Well, this song I think was just railroad lady. And okay. A picture of them two with with uh, Willie Nelson, who recorded that song too. You know, like there was a picture and there were some other pictures and it was them playing. And I remember, I didn't know who Jerry Jeff Walker, that was my introduction to Jerry Jeff. Oh, he wrote Mr. Bojangles and all this stuff and mm -hmm. he was talking about it. And my dad says, this is pretty cool. Because I said, hey, I must have got the, the thought, you know, I must have got the nod that Buffett was going to be on this show. So anyway. Yeah, yeah I, I recorded it. I put it, I wrote on the, when the old days when you have to used, used to have to program your VCR <laughs> with a yeah. date in there and time and everything. Yeah, Lights. I uh, I recorded it too. And back when I was at the TV station, I actually duped it to a three quarter inch tape to go back to three quarter inch tapes to bring it full circle. Uh -huh. So I've got a like a professional copy, of, a professional VHS copy. So I've got that too. And uh, what was I going to say? I was going to add something, but I forgot. Oh, we and. Uh, um, we were really high on that uh, one album that he did, Cowboy Boots and Bathing Suits. I can't yeah, I just listened to out. it. I just listened to it. Uh, was it yesterday or the the? Yeah, the day. When did he die? I, I listened. I listened it was to Friday. Friday. It was Friday, Friday. October twenty third. Okay. Then he was seventy eight years old. I just old listened to it on Monday. Throat cancer. Yeah, I missed this. I missed that he died for a few days because uh, I think because I was because I had my arm was numb. When your arm, your arm, you, you don't think of anything else. But you can't hear news or nothing. No, but I, I, so I listened to that cowboy boots and bathing suits again, and it was, it's good. There's some good stuff on there. Well, I've listened enough where it, it shows up on all my Apple playlist, like when they make your favorites, or yeah. when I play W, I play, uh, my radio station, and that album shows up all the time. Mm -hmm. And then once in a while, I do play it. That's a, that's a summer staple for sure. Yeah, there's some good tunes on there. Yeah. And uh, I remember one song on that Texas Connection concert. They played one of his new songs, Jerry Jeff's song, and it had one of my favorite lyrics about uh, it was it was about safe sex. It's time for young fellas to carry umbrellas. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah. it was about it was about not wanting to go out because it's dangerous out there. So I think it was like I don't know if it was an AIDS song. I think it was after that, but kind of that type thing. But uh, something about uh, he. He preferred to just stay with the comforts, comforts of home, and that song really hit home because that's my philosophy: just stay home. <laughs> yep. Yep. Now he's uh um wasn't the greatest singer, but he had some uh, good lyrics. It was mm -hmm. uh, right. It's pretty good stuff. But out there. his voice just worked on some songs anyway. Yeah, because it was just a laid back kind of a you know he's yeah. just knocking around. And that yeah. whole song, I think, Cowboy Boots and Baby Suits, that, that specific song. And I love the first track, the Come Away to Belize with me. Yeah, yeah that's the, probably my favorite Belize, one on the record. Like that. Yeah, it's a great yep. song. It really is. Now, the I, Cowboy I, Boots and Bathing Suits, that's the lyrics in that are great because it's a yeah. slow paced song. It's really kind of 
takes a while to get you know get through it but the lyrics are fantastic yeah and the whole uh the talking part you know yeah kind of like the yeah the whole uh you know doesn't get any better than it does right here <laughs> yep i do i just remembered i've got another album of his but it's not on cd it's a download so now we have to look for it while you guys talk so yeah i after uh, oh. he passed then, then today i don't you guys don't listen to any outlaw country stuff but uh, billy joe shaver died today or yesterday if you even know who he is oh, I don't he wrote know. a lot of the old stuff for like waylon and willie and oh really back in the early 70s and stuff yeah chris christopherson like discovered him or something i don't know okay yeah i found my album it's hill country rain and I think I bought it just because it has that song on it, Time to Stay Home. That's the name of the song, Time to Stay Home. <laughs> and it came, it was out in 1992. That's Mickey's theme song. Yeah, I liked it so much. It's time for young fellas to carry umbrellas. <laughs> Where nice. am I? Yeah, but, but a anyway. good, good catch there, Schmo. We did, I yeah. forgot all about that. That's needed to be said right then. So have a drink for Jerry Jeff. I'll have yep. There oh, you go. Crap. I gotta go to the basement again. I think t Yeah, he was probably like one of the first, um, you know, when you listen to Buff, you, you spread out to like ancillary artists, right, that, yeah. that uh, either supported him or, you know, are linked somehow. He's like one of the first ones that you could get onto, right? Yeah, well, it's it's interesting. He's the tech. He's a Texas guy, you know, and he he went into the tropical, you know. I mean, he went into the Key West. Yeah. So essentially, he he's what made Buffett the Key West. Yeah. He he brought the whole tropical thing together with Buffett. Right. And we right. wouldn't have Buffett and if it wasn't for Jerry Jeff. Texas yep. country, I I think I kind of like better you know i mean if you look back and, and listen to stuff with my dad there's a lot of the texas stuff that i like or i think that remember that will willis alan ramsey or whatever that album that everybody has mm-hmm. done the songs like every and including muskrat love it's on that i think he's a texas guy and they all they all liked him guy clark i i i remember listening to la freeway in the am radio like when i was a little yeah, kid what a what a great song that is but it was it's a, a great song I, I mean i remember just because all he had is am rate cklw <laughs> la freeway and uh, whenever it pops up in my rotation it just uh, it's uh, it just brings back the memories and, mm-hmm. song. and boats to build which i like jerry jeff's and buffett's versions better than guy clark but... yeah and, and jerry jeff's version is way different yeah yeah, it's got like a different melody, doesn't it? Or is that yeah, and it's it's, it's much Jerry. slower tempo and everything. Yeah, yeah, I like Jerry Jeffs. I do. Guy Clark's is, is slow, but it's just I like Jerry Jeffs better than Guy Clark's. But it's a great song. It's been such a long time I've forgotten the differences. I haven't heard those songs in quite a while. But it's kind of note cool. to self. Clark took that song yep. and did what he did with it with uh, uh, um, Alan Jackson and. You know, changed it too, because I don't think his songs like Guy Clark's. You know, it's a good song. Yeah, it's closer, but Jerry Jeffs is way different. Oh, all the dogs are loose. Hi. So I forgot where we left off. Now is that woman going country. crazy, or I found oh, no, well, yeah, woman going crazy. You were moving on. Then that brings us to the final song, I believe. If we did one like they always do this. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, why? Why am I up here? <laughs> um, there was a uh, unofficial contest to on Facebook to guess what the last song was going to be, and uh, I couldn't. Th- I I had some ideas, but I never, I never submitted anything. But once they announced it, it's like, well, obviously, that's going to be the last song, which is. You guys look puzzled. You don't know don't what know. the last song is? Did I hear you it? Didn't I see I, the last song? I thought I did. Go ahead. Song 15, Delaney Talks to Statues. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yep, oh, I did. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm thinking, oh, wow, what could, what could they have picked? What would be the number, you know, I don't know if they're going from bottom of the list to top of the list. What would the 15th song be? Yep. And then when they announced it, it's like, well, obviously. So did 
did they choose that or was that actually a song that was submitted by everybody i think they must have chose that one although you know as far as who's how many times it's been played i don't assume it's been played that many times how, what was cracking me up was some people were when they were asking for um extra submissions people were suggesting like a pirate looks at 40 right <laughs> and it's like <laughs> Not only has he played that quite a lot, it's already yes. on the best of album. Yeah, 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 yeah. How can it not be on the best of album and be on the best of album? Yeah, how can it be? Time? How can you? You don't know. You you know by heart <laughs> and don't know by heart at the same time. Blowing <laughs> right. my mind. I just, right. I just hurt myself. <laughs> That's right. I heard that clunk. <laughs> yeah, right against my glasses. God. <laughs> Careful, there, schmo. I know. And we got to see it from two different angles, too. <laughs> That's right. I'll have to watch this again because I it's missed like it from a, the one angle. Maybe we'll like do a, the slow-mo. <laughs> it's like a set piece in an action movie where they have 15 cameras on the one stunt. And then they show yeah. it. And the yeah. In rapid succession. It's me. <laughs> nice. Uh, but yeah, it's... um. I do. He kept pushing that, that how she was stomping on the toadstools. He mentioned that a number of times. Mm -hmm. She must have been pretty unruly. Yeah. But it's it's an uh, okay song. It's never one of my favorites, but it's definitely uh, it fits. Yeah, it was it was nice here because you know, it's not the kind of song you would hear in concert, so it's cool right. to hear Jimmy do it again. Yep. which I think was the whole point of this. Exactly and right. because of that, it's a shame they had to limit it to 15. It should have been like one a week. Yeah, keep going. For a year and a half. Let's go. Yeah, just keep going. I think no, there's plenty fine. more. <laughs> oh, and um, we were met, we were talking last time about how these were recorded in chunks, and uh, you were, Schmo was wondering um, what days what they were recording and what was Jimmy wearing and stuff like that. If you go to Margaritaville TV, they have all of them they have a thumbnail for all of them. So you can pick out where he's wearing the same shirt. And oh, yeah. uh, I can go there and watch some of them. What rooms, yeah, same what room. rooms match. And yep. it's kind of like one of those, it's kind of like a concentration game or something where they just reveal all the squares. But well, for uh, some reason, they only have 14 tracks on Margarita, Margaritaville TV. They don't have Delaney yet. And it's been, it's been like a week. It's been almost a week. And they haven't added Delaney Tux to statues yet. So you can't see the full um, uh, grid of 15 thumbnails. But it is kind of funny to go, oh, he's wearing that this, this, and this is the blue yep. shirt. This, this, and this is the is the uh, beige uh, polo shirt. This, this, and this one, is, uh, is like the bedroom thing. The end where she says, we take a lunch break, and he has different clothes on, I think. Like, oh, they, they were, threw it off. I think I think he's wearing a different shirt. I'm, I'm not sure though. Yeah, maybe. I'm he's such a sloppy that, eater. But it, yeah. Oh, but it dad. Was, uh, it yeah, was like they shirt. were talking about the song, and then he they went they took a break or something, and then he sang the song. Yeah, it is one of the later ones because I remember the lunch break. And then when it popped up, it's like, why bother telling us it's lunch break? Just do an edit. He got jump cuts just through, hit, through hit all the of them. Uh, put in show button. It's easy. I mean, the shows, the the videos have have bunches have a lot of jump cuts. So just do another jump cut. Why do you Why are you trying to make me hungry in the middle of this Jimmy Buffett video? Or do quick quick snaps of what he was eating. You know, to, <laughs> and then and then he's playing the song. You know, that, that could be the that could be the next series is uh, meals that you <laughs> don't know. Lunch is the last forever. There you go. That's better. It is, you could have different lunch. recipes and stuff. That'd he be does good. talk about food a lot. Yes. You know, in these in these descriptions, and just like he does in his books and everything. I mean, foods. It's it's cool. You know. Yeah. Just, have different. He, he could cook them up. He could make a, a different uh, episode each meal. Yeah. Nice. No, no takers. It's too late. No, no, that'd, be, <laughs> that'd be great. Some shrimp dishes. And stuff. So nothing. Uh, never heard from HUD. So 
He must be busy during Halloween week. Is he MMC who texted me? No. I did get someone to send me something. A home COVID test. One, open a can of beer and try it out or smell it. Two, if you could smell the beer, drink it to see if you could taste it. Three, if you could taste it and smell it, this confirms you don't have COVID. Last night, I did this test 19 times and I'm more negative. <laughs> There's our joke, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, tonight I'm going to do the test again because this morning I woke up with a headache and feeling like I'm coming. So. <laughs> I am so nervous. All right. That's life on the 